This is Eureka Math, Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 14, and you'll see something like this. We're asked to whisper count as we show the numbers with place value disks. Okay, so this is more practice and just breaking down hundreds, tens, and ones for our students here. And so first they say, draw 18 using tens and ones. Okay, so we don't need any hundreds, but here's my tens, here's my ones. And I'll go ahead and do that, the same thing on the other side. Okay, so if I do this with tens and ones, I have one ten and then eight ones. And that's not too bad. We have a dime and eight pennies, right? Okay, but now it says on the other side to draw 18 using only ones. Okay, so hopefully this will be frustrating for our students because that's the point. We want to show them it's not the most efficient way to do this. And we're trying to just make the connection. So there's five, there's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. There it is in only ones. And hopefully our students will start thinking, wow, you know what? Maybe I should have traded all that in for a 10, right? That's what we hope. Okay, let's look at part B. This time it says draw 315 using hundreds, tens, and ones. There's hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's do hundreds, tens, and ones over here. All right, so this time I have three hundreds. I have one 10 and five ones. Part B says draw 315 using only hundreds and ones. Thankfully, it didn't say just ones, right? We'd have to draw 315 pennies here, but we have three hundreds, and now we need 15 ones. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great. Now, also, you'll have questions that look like this that say whisper talk the numbers and words as you fill in the blanks. And start by using place value charts from problem one to help you. All right, if I had 18 in terms of hundreds, tens, and ones, looking back at my previous work, and I'm whisper talking this, 18 equals zero hundreds, one tens, eight ones. Another way of saying this is 18 is 18 ones. Looking at B part, I have 315 is three hundreds, one ten, five ones. Or another way of saying that is three hundreds and 15 ones. 206 could be written as two hundreds, zero tens, and six ones, which is another way of saying, oh, be careful now, we're here, we're talking about tens and ones. Well, let's see, two hundreds is the same as 20 tens and six ones. And then 419, we could write as 400, one tens, nine ones. And that's another way of saying 41 tens and nine ones. Okay, so we're again, we're breaking down numbers in a visual way for them to understand how this works. If you have any questions on this at all, I'd be glad to help. I hope it makes sense. Thank you for watching.